Hi everybody, it's Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of one of my favorite value properties on site at Disney World, All Star Movies. With recently renovated rooms, a great on-site food court, and super fun theming, there's so much to love about this property. So come with me today as we check it out. We'll begin our tour today at Cinema Hall, which is the main check-in, dining, and shopping location on site. Then we'll make our way over to the Toy Story section, before walking over to the Fantasia section and then checking out the Love Bug area. We'll then look at the 101 Dalmatians section, which was the section that we stayed in while we were here, and we'll also show you an interior room tour. Then we'll end our tour in the Mighty Ducks section. You get a glimpse of the theming of all-star movies from the minute you first walk down the red carpet to enter the front doors of Cinema Hall. All-Star Movies is one of three All-Star Resorts on property at Walt Disney World. Its sister resorts are All-Star Music and All-Star Sports, which we also have a resort tour of. I'll link that in the description down below, as well as in the upper right-hand corner. The All-Star Resorts are located within walking distance of each other, and they all have the same general layout. As of the making of this video, All-Star Movies is the most recently renovated of the three, but renovations are ongoing in the same style at All-Star Music and All-Star Sports. All-Star Movies is my favorite of the three because I really enjoy the theming here. In fact, if you have a Toy Story fan or a Fantasia fan or just a general movie fan in your party, then this is definitely the All-Star Resort that you want to choose. Inside Cinema Hall, you'll find the main check-in area, a gift shop, as well as the food court. The gift shop had a lot of really fun All-Star Resort branded merchandise to choose from, including pins and even some t-shirts. I really like the food court here at All-Star Movies. As of the time of the filming of this video, they even have a secret menu that you can ask for. One of our favorite meals that we had in the food court here was actually our breakfast. As you can see, they have the world famous Mickey waffles. Just outside the food court is the arcade as well as the exit out to the main themed pool, which in this case is themed after Fantasia. Silver Screen Spirits is the pool bar at All Star Movies, and not too far away from that is a little screened in area called The Real Spot where you can sit and relax. Just across the main walkway from The Real Spot is a children's play area, and if we turn left out of the entrance to The Real Spot, we'll walk into the Toy Story area, which will be the first section that we'll tour. The theming of the Toy Story section is so much fun, and it really does make you feel like you were part of the adventure in Andy's room. In fact, to get a preview of how your kids might react to this section of the resort, just listen to my kids' reactions. This is a big toy. We've been shrunk it down to the size of the toy. Kids can have a lot of fun in this area pretending that they're the size of a toy. We're now going to walk from the Toy Story area back towards Cinema Hall to check out the Fantasia section. If being close to the resort amenities is a big priority for you, then it would definitely be worth it to book one of the preferred rooms in the Fantasia section, which will not only keep you close to the main themed pool, but it will also place you conveniently to Cinema Hall as well as the bus stop. Like other on-site Disney hotels, All-Star Movies has a variety of free and paid activities for guests to take part in.
Just next to the main themed Fantasia pool, there's also a cute little Fantasia splash pad area for kids to play in. Just past the Fantasia section is the Love Bug area, which is themed after one of Disney's live action movies. We're now making our way into the 101 Dalmatian section of the resort, which is the section I stayed in with my family on our most recent stay here. This little TV makes a really cute photo op. that all star movies all look the same on the inside no matter which section of the resort you're staying in. Just like the rooms at Disney's Pop Century Resort, the rooms here at all star movies feature two queen beds, one of which is a folding bed which turns into a table when not in use. The beds are raised off the ground to allow you to store luggage underneath if needed. The rooms are 260 square feet and they feature a refrigerator as well as a coffee maker. My husband Evan was kind enough to demonstrate how easy it is to turn this fold-down bed from a table into a queen-size bed. The bathroom features one sink as well as a shower and tub combo. You'll also find an iron, ironing board, and a hair dryer. The shower tub combo also comes equipped with shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. There are several USB charging ports that can be found throughout this room.
The last section that we'll tour is the Mighty Ducks section, which is also themed after another of Disney's live action films. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. This resort offers an attractive price point, fun theming, and the great use of space in the newly renovated rooms will make for a very comfortable stay for your family. If you're considering taking a Disney vacation, my planning services are completely free to you if you book your vacation through me at the same price as booking on Disney's website. Again, I'm Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels. Thank you for watching.